Hi, this is Lara from astrolada.com with your October 2019 videos and I have great news for you. The astrological cosmic weather will be sunny. It will be like a breath of fresh air. All the planets are moving forward, which means that we can move ahead with our lives and goals and plans. We'll be very productive as well. We'll be very initiative because the Libra season is season of action. And because there are no retrograde planets this month, it means that things go according to our expectations. We don't get frustrated because of delays, because of obstacles. We don't have to think of plan B and C, so move ahead with confidence and positivity the star will support you and even some of you might have difficult personal transits because everyone has a horoscope that no one else in the world has you know <clears throat> and you can check what your personal transits will be like from my birth chart from my uh, birth transit calendar basically which is um, for free and here you can see how it looks from astrolada.com and you can see all those transits are specifically for me. No one else in the world has them at the same time with me. And if you happen to see a difficult transit here, they have explanations, for example, like this one, you know, and it's more complex, it's more difficult. Uh, still don't worry because overall the astrological weather that I'm talking about in those videos will be so positive that it will basically the outer circumstances will support you, will help you overcome whatever difficulty it is in your personal horoscope. And um, this is a season of love and relationships as well in October. It will be very much focused on relationships, on others, on bonding with others, because this is Libra season after all. And because of that, me and Natalia are making a webinar, two-part webinar in two days on love and sex. Natalia will focus on the practical side, on how to bond sexually with the different signs. I will focus on the love aspect of it. It's for beginners or advanced people. I'll give you my deep insights. What does each sign want? Uh, what does each sign love? How to be loved? The love languages of the different signs and the positions that show those love languages. So do join us at, towards the end of October sometime. And also, there's still open places for Bali with me and Natalia. Very, very boutique uh, uh, retreat. Now it's open also for men. It's um, webinar to focus on giving birth to your goddess inner goddess and god or inner god and i'll work specifically with each person on their personal horoscope and natalia will work individually with each person and each woman or man on uh, their issues so that's very tailor-made all right so let's dig into the october horoscopes Leo, October 2019, whether you're Leo, Sun, Moon, or Rising, let's see where are you going to be most active. Well, this month, Leos, you'll be so busy, busy, busy to be go, 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 go. Why is that? Look where the biggest activity is for you. The Sun and Mars are the two fiery planets, the planets of willpower, of initiative, of action, and they're together in the same house this month. So it means you will be really go, go, go in that area of your life. And that's the third house, Libra. And this is the house of busyness anyway. You'll be like to and fro. You'll be talking with a lot of people, communicating. You'll be initiating a lot of relationships now. And I'm talking not like personal relationships, more like you'll be very active talking with people, communicating uh, with the relatives, with neighbors, with coworkers, with teammates, playmates, with friends. You'll be the one initiating, so calling like, okay, let's go for a coffee or let's meet up. Or if you have business, or if you're in business, any business career for business administration or whatever, third house is the house of business. So you'd have a lot of meeting this month. You can notice that they'll be like, they're calling you. You'd be also the one initiating possibly a lot of them. And you'd be the one taking the most active part in them because these two active planets in your third house of business meetings, of negotiations, of um, sales, of um, uh, uh, marketing, advertising. If you're in any career that has to do with that, usually all business, marketing, advertising, sales careers, you'll be very initiative there, very proactively searching for new clients, reaching third houses to build bridges to connect with others. You'll be very initiative to make marketing campaigns, uh, media performances or writing articles or speaking, writing. Uh, and uh, you would be very passionate in your speaking this month. Sun and Mars, fiery planets. You'll be 
how do I say it's uh, you'd be you'd be center of attention because of your communication because of your uh, powerful way of expressing yourself sometimes even a bit too strong too aggressive some people might even think that you're imposing your opinions too much uh, but you would also notice that there is so much increased communications with others, so much increased activities with others. Very good month for business to initiate business activities of any sort. Sales can pick up because you're becoming more aggressive at marketing or selling yourself or selling a project as well. Oh, the Sun and Mars love being in the third house. In Vedic astrology, the third house is the house of difficult things. So learning anything new is difficult. And the Sun and Mars, they like doing difficult things, like they're a soldier and a king. They don't want to just sit there and drink wine all day long. They want to go and conquer new territories uh, and, uh, you know, uh, exert themselves, sweat and win and be the winners so you can be winners and uh, be able to accomplish a lot of difficult things in regards to of third house is difficult things is like learning something new a new skill so you can be very initiative for example to go and learn how to use a computer program or how to uh, use a new software or device or how to uh, drive a car or how to uh, learn a language or play an instrument you're proactive and you know in regards to that and uh, you put and you have the willpower for that as well also third house the house of courage because and the house of self-made wealth and business why is that because it requires courage to make your own business and to make self-made wealth thanks to your skills so now if you have good skills sun transiting your third together with mars can really help you kind of uh go for to express those skills and to have more courage to start the business, for example, or to initiate something that is that you didn't have courage for, that you were afraid for before that, uh, and to be proactive in regards to that. So great, you know. Also, the third house, the house of short trips. The Sun and Mars there shows to me that many of you will be very active moving to and fro. If, if you're not traveling to other towns or whatever, or countries for short trips, you'll be like, constantly daily having to drive the car around uh it's it will be more than usual you know someone says well i have to do that anyway but now if you're leo sun moon arising you'll notice that there's a lot more uh the need to walk to move about to do some short trips to business for some of you it might be business trips for some of you might be just like daily hustle and bustle and activity that you have to travel a lot uh i'm a leo moon so we are planning couple of trips in October, short ones. Hopefully it works and you'll be the one initiating that. Also, you find yourself initiating contacts with others, initiating getting in touch with people, initiating activities in small group environment. I think I said that already. One thing to be careful about is the fight for dominance in such small groups or with relatives, neighbors, and um, friends because third house this house of communication people in our daily environment so because of very forceful opinions or because of you're trying to dominate such a group there can be some clashes but also you can notice that some neighbors or some co-workers may be a little bit more obnoxious a little bit more pushy a little bit more dominating uh and again try not to react on that especially the last week of the month when mars and saturn are making square because it can create some tension between you and relatives or siblings uh and you and uh, at the workplace as well because saturn is going to make the difficult aspect to mars from the sixth house so um there can be some clash because of increased work responsibilities or duties or something that has to be fixed with the with your colleagues or teammates that can escalate towards the end of the month um or uh, with siblings because of some duty or responsibility uh, that is happening. Uh, so try the last week not to be to be a bit more patient. Saturn Mars require patience, perseverance, not reacting spontaneously, but uh, you know holding back a little bit and just waiting it out or doing the hard work. Also, it can require that there is an increased responsibilities at work or duties with clients or uh with, with the uh your workmates that the tension escalates a little bit towards the end of the month or there, there's something difficult of you that's required to do in a group environment or with uh, with um, colleagues 
uh, or with neighbors that you have to overcome, you have to exert yourself more and overcome some obstacle or extra duty and responsibility. Um, all right, let's say, so increased flow of information, hectic activities for business is very good to move forward with plans and goals, with anything to do with communications and information, anything to do with the per, uh, participation in small groups, anything to do with the media, with the internet, you know, all those things that go, go, go. Uh, and proactively, you go after them. Then you have two beautiful planets for the most of October, Venus and Mercury, harmonious, easy planets in your fourth house, Leos. So what is your source of joy? It's your family. If there were some clashes with parents or with your family or, or some instability, now things smooth out in most of October. For the bigger part, Venus and Mercury there makes, improves the relationships with your loved ones, uh, improves the living conditions of some of you. Some of you can find without having to exert, exert themselves and make efforts can have, can find better living quarters, can find better living conditions. Some of you can come across a place or a house or something that they've always liked or that they've always wanted, you know, but it's without fight, without effort. Also, it can indicate that you beautify your home. You find something beautiful and valuable. Venus is beautiful and valuable. Um, uh, and a good deal with Mercury is a good businessman. Uh, a good deal to buy for your home, to make it beautiful, to decorate your garden, for example. They could be something connected with land or property that goes well, uh, with closing such deals, or improving something around your home and personal space. And also it can just indicate that you're enjoying yourself more and entertaining at home as well. Uh, if you invite others, you know, in the privacy of your home, you go to visit others again, it will go well. You're enjoying spending time at home. Uh, you find peace for most of the month uh, in the privacy of your home and the love of your family grows and it surrounds you as well. Um, also, it's vehicles. So if you can find a good vehicle to purchase, for example, to improve on your vehicle in some way. These are the themes that are the most predominant for you, Leo. But also Jupiter continues to make, and it's moving forward now. So Jupiter will help those of you who are born with Sun, Moon, or Rising, or Ascendant in Leo, from 17 to 24 degrees this month the most, which means that if you're born from around, if your sun is in Leo, basically you're born from around the 10th to around the 18th of August. And these people with sun, moon, or rising in Leo around those degrees or days, they definitely feel amazing help from Leo, from Jupiter, sorry, in their fifth house. Can be fantastic, they can meet, they can fall in love. Fifth house is to fall in love, they can get pregnant some of them. Some of them can have some, something very good happening in their, um, uh, they can have a revival of their love life. They can have improvement with, uh, uh, in the loving relationships. They can have new creative inspirations that go great. They can benefit materially from something that they've created more with abundance comes to them from one of their creations. Something good can happen in the life of their children. If it's your son in those degrees, the, the days that I said, Jupiter training the sun, opportunities for career, work projects going very well, according to your plans or according to uh, opportunity, uh, some male figure can help, something very good can happen with your husband or important man in your life or with your career opportunities opening. If it's your moon at those degrees, 17 to 20, in Leo, Jupiter trining it will guarantee something very good happening with home, with property, place of living as well. Venus and Mercury in the fourth house of home and property is also helping that. With your emotional well-being, you can feel happy if it's your moon there. And the sun as well. You can feel more confident. So if you're in those degrees, sun, moon or ascendant, whatever you want this month, it's like the doors will be opening for you. Those degrees are blessed. They're the... They're the uh, the destiny's uh, favorite child this month. Uh, abundance is opening. If you have anything important to do, do it this month if you are within those degrees because you have a divine support and um, protection from Jupiter. For all Leos, though, generally, Jupiter continues to move forward in your fifth house, so positive things can happen in regards to uh, you having more confidence uh, healing that confidence, you shining more, being uh, in the spotlight, 
being uh, able to feel inspired, happy to teach or learn something. If it counts is to teach or learn as well. Uh, having more students as well. If some of you are expanding on those, on your love life to heal and to improve. Um, <clears throat> And as well, in fifth house is to have more fun with another person, to be in love, to be in love with life as well, to be more playful, fun, enjoyable. So what a month. Please enjoy it. Yes, if there's some difficult transits, if you're like, wow, Lada said it's going to be just a shine, shine, but it's shy for two days now. Check your personal transits on the birth chart calendar, which is for free. Check it out, birth transit calendar, sorry, personal transit calendar. Check it to see your personal influences, but then know because the planets are so well aligned this month that you have good astrological climate, even if your personal one is a bit hard. So, you know, you the universe will help you somehow. And please join me in Natalia for the webinar, two-day webinar on love and sex. She'll be on the sex part. I'll be on the love part. You don't need to know any astrology, but I'll walk through the 12 signs and the signs of Venus and Mars and Sun uh, and show you the love languages of each person and how you can uh, ex how you can feel more loved by another, what another needs to feel loved. So thank you. Oh, join us in Bali, of course, <laughs> for 15 people only. I think we have nine people. We have six more places left. Um, now even men can come if they're interested. Thank you.